And thanks for staying with us. The Gombe State Judiciary has flagged off the 2022 legal year. The state governor used the opportunity to appreciate the smooth relationship between the executive and the judiciary and also reaffirmed his commitment to the autonomy of different branches of government. Lawyers reviewed the challenges of 2021 and their expectations for the 2022 legal year. Correspondent Larry Adeyemi has more. The year 2021 was challenging all around. The effects of the coronavirus pandemic, followed by the economic downturn, made the year tougher for many. The legal profession in Gombe State is reviewing its activities in 2021 as it flags off the 2022 legal year. A civil and criminal fight in the High Court, Magistrate and Stroke District Courts, Area Courts and Tribunals. 10,271 cases were had determined, leaving 3,028 pending and carried to this year. The executive branch is pleased with the relationship with the judiciary. However, it is concerned about the congestion in prisons and pending cases. Government is committed to the strengthening of the Ministry of Justice in order to make it proactive and a worthy stakeholder in the administration of criminal justice in the state. In the spirit of the new legal year, and in order to decongest our prisons, I would like to appeal to our judges and all stakeholders to ensure speedy determination of cases. As evidence of our improved performance from January to November this year, the Ministry of Justice has received 102 police case diaries. None of these case diaries has stayed beyond three weeks without legal advice. The acting chief judge is concerned over the gale of petitions against judicial officers. He is rather advocating restraint and dialogue. The bar on its own part wants governors to be bold in signing death warrants. Members are also enjoined to exercise restraint in writing petitions of judges, especially in matters of law and procedure that would be that would best be handled through sound advocacy and or appeal. We hope for a good working relationship this legal year. He was taken to court, he was being tried and he appealed the case to the Court of Appeal and to the Supreme Court and the case was affirmed that uh, he should be convicted to date. So there is no any reason that he should not be executed. 2021 has been a difficult year for the legal profession in Gombe State. Gombe has not had a substantive Chief Justice for well over a year and the non-passage of the Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act is also a challenge. But there's optimism that 2022 will be much better. Landry Adeyemi, TVC News, Gombe.